Coming up in today's episode... Switchbot sent me the biggest Christmas box I have ever seen in my life. I feel like I've just been accepted into Hogwarts. <laughs> And this box was filled to the brim with smart home goodness, which got me a little bit overexcited because Switchbot's previous products have done some things that I have never seen any other smart home manufacturer do. This door sensor knows when you've left the house! And these tiny little robot arms have proven very useful during the COVID pandemic to prove to our bosses that we're definitely working from home. Definitely not. I was asleep. This is the first camera that I have seen that will automatically, automatically load the feed on your Echo Show. You don't have to ask for it. If it detects motion, it will automatically put it on the screen. Paul Jr. has had another nightmare that Philips Hue have become competitive. Wow. So when Switchbots told me they had released a super cheap smart LED bulb and an even cheaper LED strip, my ears pricked up. We all ears would prick up, wouldn't they? Because you are a prick. I also realized, of course, off the back of that, that you could use Switchbots NFC tags to do something rather exciting. And we'll talk more about that later on in the episode. That work? That bait you in? Have you been baited by the master? Have you been masturbating? <laughs> Same jokes every week. That's Paul Hibbert. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Thanks to Switchbot for sponsoring today's video and for sending me their exceedingly inexpensive new lighting products. This video is going to show some awesome ways that I've managed to get these things to automate using the incredibly clever SwitchBot ecosystem and some NFC techs. I'll also be drawing some comparisons to Philips Hue as the market leaders. I definitely won't wind up any of their massive fanboys. Weirdos. I now pronounce you Man and Zigbee, who may kiss the wireless mesh network standard. And you know, I was once told by a Philips Hue user that I needed to stop comparing products to Philips Hue, and his reasoning was, it annoyed him. But let me just try and care about that, hang on. Come on boys and girls, care! Yeah. Nope, I don't care. First up then are SwitchBot's B22 light bulbs. Weren't the B22s a band? What lobster? That was the B52s, but I digress. SwitchBot's do both B52, B22s and E27s, that wasn't even a joke, I did that by accident. And you can buy both of them from Amazon and both will work in equal measure. I've been sent B22s, but annoyingly, I have nothing but E27 sockets, so I am using an adapter throughout this review. The setup process for all SwitchBot bulbs and LED products and curtain motors and all of the rest of it is super easy, but it does provoke my rebellious side. As soon as the product is plugged in for the first time, it becomes immediately discoverable to the app. And if you've enabled the She That Should Not Be Named or the Google Home skill, you'll be able to control it with your voice straight away too. Turn off switch bot bulb. I was then able to set the LED strip up in exactly the same way as the bulb, and so it was now time to have some fun with the automations. But before we get into that, here are some side-by-side -side comparisons with Philips Hue. Bitches. <laughs> People often ask me, why do you hate Philips Hue? 
have a list, a massive list. But at the very top of this list is value for money because they are absolutely robbing you blind and it fills me with rage. This bulb is £46.50 at time of filming. The bulb on the right is £11. What? I can prove just how much of a ripoff Philips Hue is with this one test because... <laughs> My looks meter shows that Philips Hue is outmatched by a ridiculous degree for every single colour. The only one that it's even closely matched on is red. Other than that, SwitchBot is destroying Philips Hue's bulb for a fourth of the price. If you ever want to know why I hate Philips Hue, there it is. There it is. There it is. Next up is the LED strip. This is where the magic happens. The bedroom. And you know what I mean by magic. You know. Coin tricks and cards and stuff. Have sex with me. <laughs> And in this room, I have a Philips Hue LED strip under the bed that fades up very gradually over a 20 minute period to emulate the sunrise so that I will wake up more naturally because we don't have a sun in this country. And I've been wanting to replace this LED strip now for a while because it's made by Philips Sorry, have this problem sometimes. It's made by Philips It's made by Philips made by the Dutch. But unfortunately, it's been extremely difficult to find any other manufacturer that actually does this one thing until now. And SwitchBot are still working to perfect this, and currently it will only fade over a period of a few minutes instead of the 20 minutes I've set in the app. They've assured me that they are working quickly to resolve this bug, and to be fair to them, they have resolved a lot of my other complaints via Twitter just during the making of this video. So I have good faith that they will get this resolved, and I will tell you in the description as to what the progress is as you watch the video. If you've watched it in the future, perhaps it's already fixed. You'll find out there. And the reality here is, and I'll be completely honest with you, I always am, the Philips Hue LED strip is quite a lot brighter than the SwitchBot equivalent, and the SwitchBot equivalent doesn't do color temperature. You can get a white out of it, or a close approximation as to what you can get from Philips Hue, but you can't go cool white to warm white, you're kind of just picking out of a color wheel, which isn't really the same thing. But there are a few things that the Philips Hue strip can't do, such as last for 10 minutes without breaking, because you bent it in a way that it didn't like, because it's garbage, actual garbage. Honestly, I don't even remember breaking this thing. I think it broke all by itself over a period of time for a laugh. <laughs> the second thing the Philips Hue LED strip can't do is cost a sensible price. It's 93 pounds. The third, th wait, what? 93 pounds? What in the actual f the final thing Philips Hue can't do is this. What happened there was, my phone scanned an NFC tag from SwitchBot, which told the SwitchBot app to start a routine. And that routine switched on the SwitchBot bulb by the side of my bed, it switched on the LED strip underneath the bed, but it also told the SwitchBot hub to fire off an infrared signal, which mimics my projector's remote to turn on my projector. You could do this with your TV, you could do it with your set-top box, you could do it with any piece of AV equipment, and you could get it to fire multiple signals to turn them all on at once. And because I'm some sort of genius and have now started using Home Assistant, Right, I now use Home Assistant, just like you people. I have now got it so that Home Assistant reacts to my projector being turned on and then tells Toya Smart Life to lower my blind. None of this has anything to do with SwitchBot. I just wanted to show off my Home Assistant prowess. Home Assistant! But if you have SwitchBot's curtain motors, you could have this same routine close your curtains. 
How cool is that? One swipe of an NFC tag will close your curtains, set your lights to the desired brightness, and then fire an infrared signal to switch on your AV equipment, all within one ecosystem. All I had to do to achieve this was to create a scene in the app and then choose the NFC tag as the condition. It then asked me to scan the NFC tag using the phone's reader and then choose the actions I wanted it to perform as part of the scene. As long as your phone is unlocked when you tap it on the NFC tag, all of that stuff will happen even if you don't have the app open on your phone. According to the SwitchBot website, this bulb is currently $15.99 down from $15.99, which means that with this amazing discount, the bulb costs $15.99. These bulbs are $15.99, but if you use my discount, which is in the description for this video, it's actually 10% off, which means they're only... $14.40, or in UK money, that's £10.55. Because of a restriction in Android, there is actually no way to fire off this NFC tag unless your phone is unlocked. If your phone isn't unlocked when you swipe the NFC tag, nothing happens. This is a security feature of Android and nothing that SwitchBot can do anything about. If you wanted to get around this, you would have to root your phone, and I'm not a masochist, so I'm not going to do that ever again. Probably do it next week. Go to go do it now. NFC tags don't work on charging stands either. If you have a charging stand for your mobile phone, it will interfere with the NFC tag so sadly, and this kills me, I can't stick an NFC tag on my charging stand and then use that as my nighttime routine. It's what I wanna do and I can't. I can work around this with Tasker, but I'd rather do everything within the SwitchBot ecosystem. Neither of these things are SwitchBot's faults, and SwitchBot can't do anything about either of them. But it's worth knowing if you were thinking about buying a whole bunch of NFC tags. As usual, there are links in the description if you want to buy anything you've seen in today's video, and the discount codes are there too. It's worth noting that if you want to control things with your voice, you'll need to buy the SwitchBot Hub 2, but if you only wanted to do the NFC thing, you could actually do all of this without the bridge. The bridge is only £30 anyway, so it's well worth the money. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That'll tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when it uploads videos. These incredible people here are my patrons from Patreon, and honestly, I know I say it every week, but without them, I wouldn't be doing this, you wouldn't be watching this video, life would be no fun at all, especially for me, because I'd be sat at a desk doing a job I hate. If you want to be one of those incredible people, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I will genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams and my TikToks too. Come and hang out there and we can be best friends. See you next time. SwitchBot's previous stuff has been... <laughs> you always look for a clip, weren't you? Oh, you are a prick. Son of a bitch!